Get ready, because you're about to be an ATL. -L -E Speaking of Kenya, since you brought her up, okay, Kenya has uh, been accused of um, photoshopping images. I mean, apparently, one of the images that she posted on her uh, Instagram page that she subsequently deleted is, uh, hold on, let me find it, is uh, on the shade room. She was in uh, Disney World Paris with baby Brooklyn and people are calling out how different baby Brooklyn looks. And I'm like, did she Photoshop baby Brooklyn? And they like, no, nah, she didn't Photoshop Brooklyn, but she did Photoshop herself. And because she Photoshopped herself, Brooklyn looks a bit weird in the picture. Hold on, let me let me screenshot this so I can zoom it in. Let me screenshot crop. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Because this is on the shade room. And this is what she has said. Crop done. Okay, now let me go here. Y'all know this live. Talk amongst y'all sales. Okay, talk amongst y'all sales while I pull this up. Okay, there it is. Stop the screen share. So here is Kenya. <clears throat> here is Kenya in Disney World. Okay. Um, and Kenya in the caption said, It's good to be back at Disneyland Paris. <clears throat> the first time we came was to celebrate Brooklyn's first birthday. And now she's just months away from being four. This is why I work hard so hard being a single mom now. I want her to always have Paris. So you look at Brooklyn. Brooklyn, look, Brooklyn don't look like that. Where the, she didn't look the whole side of the baby face. She making herself look good and didn't even try to look at the baby. <laughs> Kenya, one of them people. If it's three people in the picture, she gonna adjust her waistline and let everybody else be fat. <laughs> Like how you do that to the baby? And look, she done adjusted her waist. It's a little, it's a little curvature right there on the line. It's a little curvature. She tried to make her stuff. But why you do it to the baby? Oh, baby Brooklyn. Well, anyway, the uh, Kenya been called out about it. The people in the in the comments on the shade room dragging her. Uh, all of that. Right? That ain't somebody said that ain't Brooklyn. That's Bronx. That is not baby Brooklyn. I am not talking about people kids because that is not her kid. She didn't damn Photoshop the picture. It's the picture all warped and stuff. The baby head all warped. She has Photoshopped the picture. Brooklyn is a beautiful girl, a beautiful uh, baby girl. And Kenya is too worried about her own image and uh, it's skewing up her, her baby's picture. <sighs> anyway, I'm digressing. I'm digressing. Right, she photoshopped herself, and Brooklyn just caught the brunt brunt of it. That's what happened. She uh tried, she made her face thinner, and then I get I don't know what she did, but it, listen, got Brooklyn face uh drooping on the side. I just I'm just anyway. Kenya was busted. We out of it. Uh, in addition to uh Kenya being busted, how about Kenya is trying to rebrand her entire image okay kenya has been on social media well actually she did an interview recently where she is apologizing to kim fields and she's actually you know looking at several clips of um you know her her antagonist ways on the real housewives of atlanta over the years y'all know kenya did so much kenya had a bullhorn in portia's face kenya got dragged across the dang a reunion show set after you know put pointing a scepter in Portia's face. Kenya tried to pull a chair out of uh, from under Kim Fields. She done did a lot over the years, but then you know, listen when she tried to antagonize Nene Leakes, and then all of a sudden she's a she's a Karen <laughs> talking about something. She almost attempted to spit on me, girl. You done did so much worse. You have been done so much worse. Okay, but now um. Kenya, let's let's. I'm gonna look at this interview with y'all, okay? The Real Housewives of Atlanta, and I was I I didn't even watch it because I wanted to I wanted to see it with y'all. Here it is, right here. She said she, the one uh, she did with Heat World. She said I was completely wrong. Kenya Moore reacts to Real Housewives of Atlanta, most iconic 
moments. And one of them was the uh, the uh, Kim scene, but we're going to watch a few of them and see what she says, okay? Let's see. Are you directing this? Oh, wait, I got to put my disclaimer up. Y'all know I'm, this is a reaction video. We're doing research right now, okay? Copyright disclaimer under Section 107 of the Copyright Act of 1976. Allowances made for fair use for purposes such as criticism, comment, news reporting, teaching, scholarship, and research. What are we doing, ladies and gentlemen? We are... Thank you, not two, two, three. You got it quickly. I appreciate you. Okay, we are researching now. Okay, let's continue. So Kenya was looking at some of uh, the most iconic Real Housewives of Atlanta moments, and most of which she was acting up. Hold on, let's see. I don't want to see about this season. Hold on, here go one when she was reacting about Nene. Let's look at that one. Definitely was light shade. Oh, this is when they try to make it seem like I lived in the ghetto. <laughs> this is when they try to make it seem like she lived in the ghetto. That was the ghetto. We saw it. <laughs> you know they had to pull a a, a Nene Leak scene. <laughs> the ghetto. The ghetto. Okay, first of all, <laughs> that was some really creative editing. <laughs> I did not live in the ghetto. I did not live off of a bus line. <laughs> and Allegedly, it, it was off the bus line. We know what George and Tara was. And I was in a four-star hotel. <laughs> and um, it was just, I have to say that was just brilliant. It was very funny. And you just have to laugh at something like that. <laughs> that was a four-star hotel? Let's go back. She had a white refrigerator. Remember that? Haters have white refrigerators. Good and money. I was in a four-star hotel. <laughs> And um, it was just, I have to say that was just brilliant. It was very funny and you just have to laugh at something like that. But to me, I was just like living my best life in a four star hotel. Like, I don't. Was that a four star hotel? Did we see four stars? Four stars? I don't know. I, the Georgia Terrace is, I didn't say it was cheap. Now, I didn't say it was cheap, but whatever room that was, she got was, <laughs> it was not cute. I don't understand the problem. The only thing they didn't add were gunshots. Like, seriously, editing, like, why? Why did you do this to me? <laughs> this beautiful doll was definitely gifted to Kenya by Eva. Okay. Here we go. So, <laughs> that was me being classic, me being completely shady. Someone had given me a doll, but they were talking crap behind my back. So I didn't want to give that doll with that energy to my daughter. So I regifted it. I don't see the problem with that. Regifting is like recycling. Who doesn't want to take care of the earth? If you recycle, you're you're being mindful of like, you know, the earth. Okay, so recycle. Marlo is not known for good wigs. She's not known for hair. She's not known for edges. I cannot even thank you. She's bald headed to the back of her skull. So. I'm not interested in supporting Marlo's wig line. I have my own hair care line. To okay, as she sits there wearing a wig. Okay, as she sits there wearing a wig. Support and promote. Okay, well, that was iconic. Kenya more hair care. Da, 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 da. Kenya more hair care. Okay, so I crashed someone's wig event with my own products. Can you more hair care? And no one was concerned about what was. Um, listen, <laughs> right. Iconic is a stretch. Okay. Kenya is such a disappointment. <laughs> she back to wear her colored contacts. I guess, honey, and her wigs. She back to wearing colored contacts and wigs. So when I showed up, they all wanted what I was selling. Business never sleeps. Don't sleep on Kenya more hair care. I thought it was brilliant, okay? Um, and it was iconic. So there you have it. We got to bring the queen in here, honey. They at Nene's house. Okay, this is 
very, when I was there, this was very confusing to me because this is a clip with Kim Zosiak, who is no longer on the show. And she had tweeted um, out to the universe, who does her daughter have to give a certain job to? Oh no, we gotta make this big, honey. So your husband is coming to ATL May 19th and cash is beyond it. Says to him, who does Brielle have to blow in order to meet him? Y'all remember that? To get John Legend tickets. That was it. That was from her fingers out to Twitter, out to the Twitterverse. So when it was brought up here, I was just very confused as to why she was upset. She said those words, not me. And she was just picking with me all night, so I just had to, to like respond, I guess. So no one was talking about her daughter. We were talking about what she had already done on Twitter. I mean, it's right there in black and white. So what is the problem? <laughs> so this is what I was waiting on. Um, you see, in every instance of her iconic moments, uh, she is trying to explain it away. And, and, and she is now trying to rebrand herself as a nice girl, okay? So here is the uh, scene of her and um, Kim Fields. I don't like this part. I wasn't here. Kenya, 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 don't do that. Don't do that. Don't do that. She's right. I was disrespecting her space. I regret that I even pulled her chair, but I was just helping her to see her way out, basically. I was completely wrong for pulling her chair because it could have escalated. It could have gone somewhere else, and it's just not the right thing to do. If my husband said that to me, I would I would flip this table over because that is so disrespectful. You just said, basically, she's lying. How it happened is not how it happened. That would piss me the if somebody said that to me to my face especially if i'm hurting do you not understand that you're tearing her down this was a moment from this season that really got me into my emotions because when i was sitting there at the table and i was listening to uh drew's husband gaslight her and you know basically say her feelings weren't Thank relevant you. I was saying I haven't watched this, so I'm watching it with y'all, okay? I just wanted to watch this last scene. Basically calling her a liar. It was all of the things that I have felt at some point in my marriage. And so to see it being replayed in front of me, I just think that it just it just made me go to places that I didn't know I was going to, going to be going. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I had to speak up for Drew. And, um, and basically, I felt like I was also speaking up for me something that I had not done in my marriage. It was hard to watch him speak to her that way. You know, and that's just not something that you can just sit back and watch because it's almost like watching someone get abused. Not not physically clearly, but it just felt like it was emotionally abused and I just did not like it. So I spoke up. Don't judge me as a mother. Y'all want to have a sisterhood and have support, then be my mother village then. Step up and be my village. Wow, these are good clips. Uh, this argument really was, it just felt like I was being ganged up on, like I was being attacked from every um, person at the table because I was simply trying to take care of my daughter. I didn't have childcare. It was in the middle of COVID. And I just couldn't get anyone to help me. Um, so my child was there and she slept with me and they seemed to have a problem with it, which was insane to me. Um, so uh, I know, yeah, right, it was just really, it just feel, felt and looked like a full on attack from other mothers. Okay, I'm I'm going to leave Kenya into this. Okay, I just wanted to really show that she was trying to rebrand herself as Mrs. Nice Person by apologizing to Kim Fields for that moment where she uh, almost pulled out her chair and she said it could have escalated. And even in the apology, she was smirking a little bit. So she kind of still thinks it's funny, but whatever the case may be, Kenya, like, girl, like, anyway, just like uh, last week, she was in Marlo's face you know, throwing her hands in her face and stuff. Kenya is always doing stuff and then trying to act like, you know, she is the innocent party, okay? And I know some of y'all are on 
uh, 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 what's the name side? Mar not Marlo, Kenya side with the whole Marlo incident last week. Kenya Moore is uh, always tried to play the victim when she is the villain. Now this season, it seems that, you know, she is trying to rehash, rehab her image and, you know, give the villain credit to Marlo. But Kenya still got it in her. Kenya just still has it in her. And speaking of the Real Housewives of Atlanta, they went on hiatus for the 4th of July. Oddly enough, they never take hiatus. They ain't been taking hiatus. Why they taking hiatus for the 4th of July, but you didn't take hiatus for the BET Awards? You didn't take hiatus for the Grammys? You didn't take hiatus for any of the awards show, the, the Oscars, the Academy Awards? Now, here we are on hiatus because it was a holiday weekend. This the weekend people wanted to look at it. Boy, I'm digressing, honey. I am digressing. Uh, they didn't take one for Juneteenth. Okay, they didn't take one for Juneteenth, but they took one for the 4th of July. But where they do that at? Anyway, uh, because, Michelle, every holiday they get beat so bad. <laughs> Is it just the holidays they get beat? They get beat on the non-holidays, too. But I digress. Exactly. Kenya will always be the mean girl. Now she just has a mean girl partner in Marlo. Um, anyway, it will be on uh, next week. They took a hiatus this week and uh, nobody is still watching. Okay. He said, done one. Be couldn't have done one. Andy or somebody. It seemed like every single time I be talking about the housewives, my thing, uh, free, I freeze up. But I'm back, honey. I didn't go nowhere. That's why I always have a backup. I always have a backup. You know, I'm live, honey. Can't be live and then just be disappearing. Uh, yes, let's let's get these likes up. Okay, we got.